Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus Nord CE4 Lite, and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. To get started, when you put it up for the first time, you will be presented with the hello page where you just need to press on the arrow and then find your desired language from the vast list of languages. Next, click on next and choose your region. Select continue. And here you'll have some legal information. So we have user agreement and privacy policy. So we're gonna select next. You can also tap on the blue text that was visible right here to view the details to read exactly what you are agreeing to by selecting next. And on the next page, we have connect to mobile network. This step is completely optional and you don't need to do it. The reason it shows up here is it's uh, one of the ways that you can connect to mobile network. The other one would be uh, through Wi Fi, which is almost on the next page. Uh, before we're gonna see that, we will have the setup using another device option. So if you have another phone, Android for instance, that you uh, that you have already set up and used, you can basically go to a quick setup where it just moves over all your data automatically and it just simplifies the setup process. I will be skipping this and I'm gonna be setting it up as new. And here's the connect to Wi-Fi page. Again, this step is completely optional. And if I choose to skip this as well, I will not have the the Google login page will not show up. The date and time will not be set automatically. And I also won't have the option to restore apps and data uh, from the cloud throughout the setup process. All of this can be later on changed by just connecting to either mobile network or Wi-Fi. Now here we have Google services and we have three different ones. We have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now we can turn those off and uh, probably it will not mean anything because Google is most certainly, at least in my opinion, um, gathering data in the background without your permission because you know, the slider doesn't do anything. Google will have their data one way or the other. Uh, next we have unlocking method. This allows you to protect your device and you have a couple different ways of doing so, either through password, which includes pin, pattern, or password, fingerprint, or face recognition. If you're planning to use any of the, uh, the two second ones, you will always be required to select pin, pattern, or password, and the reason for that is, if something would happen to your face or your fingerprint, or both, aka just biometrics, you would lose access to your device. So, they are not always 100% reliable, and pin pattern of password obviously would be as long as your screen works so that's why you're required to select that as well i will be selecting skip so i'm not protecting my device at all though i wouldn't recommend doing that and next we have some recommended uh, auto update overnight global search quick uh, connect these are from oneplus if i'm correct uh, vdc services and more we're just gonna select next right here here we have a screen uh, display, which allows you to choose the font or f size more like of the uh, text and icons. So we have three options. We have the default, we have the medium and the large one. I'll stick with the default. Moving on to the next page, we have navigation style. We have button or gestures. I'll just choose gestures as that is what I prefer. And this finishes up the setup. So click on get started and you're basically done. There we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.